All right, guys, so before we start, just want to point out to make sure you guys actually keep all the prisoners alive. If any prisoners die, you will have to restart the level. All right, so for the first secret and the first pickup, once you have released all prisoners from this cell, it's recommended to do this because these prisoners will come and fight your next person. All right, so for this part, there's not really much I can really say, but this is all part of the story progression anyway. But the secret is located once we have moved this crate on the right hand side. We need to make sure to move it twice. Now go back to the previous crate and move the crate back to where it belonged. So go back twice. And now we're going to leave that crate there. So the crate was blocking the secret and this will be your first pickup and your first secret. Alright, so before we press this switch, I recommend probably making a save, just in case one of the prisoners die. This is like a 50-50 chance who's going to survive and who's going to die. But hopefully, your prisoners will be right next to the door and ready to kill him. Alright guys, I'm going to repeat myself a thousand times. I won't speak until I feel like I need to. So, I will see you then. So I just want to give you a heads up just in case one of the prisoners do die and you don't notice just make a save here and then once you unlock this door and your next door you will find another NP guard that will come out to try to attack you. So make sure you do the opposite of what I've just did make sure you open the right door first so you can easily run out. But yeah like I said just make a save because these guys are very weak but it, it, there's another possibility that one of your prisoners may die. But also, these do have very low HP, so hopefully your prisoners won't make much of him, so.
Once again, I sound like a broken record. Just make sure you make another manual save just in case the prisoner dies by the MP guard. But it feels like normally the guards will have very low HP compared to the prisoners if they are like a required person to die for an item drop. So as you will see throughout the entire playthrough that you do, the guards will die pretty quickly. But also, once again, there is maybe, maybe a possibility. But hopefully the game design hasn't or don't allow the D prisoners to die. If it's important. Also, in this same room, there will be a switch on your left-hand side. Do not press that switch because that switch will turn off the lasers and that's, um, that switch will also avoid the achievement. So just pretend that switch is not there. So now we're also going to go for the Limbo Master. We just have to avoid all the green lasers. We don't have to avoid the yellow ones because the yellow ones just hurt you. They don't trigger the turrets. And luckily enough, there's not many of these around. So just um, make sure if you see green, don't touch it. There is no purpose of me walking. I'm just doing this because he has a gun and I don't want to lose life. So if you just want to walk to your next pickup, it doesn't really matter if you do trigger him because we need to come back anyway because he will hold a pickup and that pickup is related to a secret. So try to remember how to get back, but of course I will show you when we get to the next secret.
you guys are going to think I'm wrong with the pickups. I'm just doing what the game's telling me. So basically, once you go in and find your weapons for the first time, you will find four additional pickups. But of course, you will see what I mean by you think the count is wrong. Because we get so much pickups. I'm just assuming since we've already had this in our possession, it's only going to give us four additional pickups because we pick up four things, but it gives us many things. All right, guys, this is just a reminder about the Limbo Master. This will be the last time you'll um, ever need to do this Limbo until the next level, of course. So after you grab your weapons, the, the they try to trap you in. So just avoid the light and carry on as normal. Alright, so once you have now came back to the same location where we found our weapons, we're now going to get the achievement called I'm Not Very Sociable. So you're going to need a strong weapon, so use a Desert Eagle that you should have on you right now. You will need to kill the one single person running away from you from a distance. He will the one, he is the person, sorry, that will trigger the enemies to spawn and you'll also gain your achievement. Now we're going to make a manual load and do the same thing again, but this time let him trigger that alarm because there will be a large med pack pickup in that room. 